so we're at Delran. I've been here since 9.30. It's currently 5. And uh, this is the first clip we're taking. We've just been working. Not that we've been in a hurry. We've just not taken any clips. Uh, we had a little bit of a rain slowdown, but just a bit. I think we're good from now. I probably just jinxed it by saying that, but whatever. Most of the, a lot, we're doing a lot better in terms of what's okay to get wet this year. So our front of house, you can see it's a front of house. And we got, actually, let's go for a walk. Come with me. So, we have, we, wait, I'll go this way. We're gonna go this way. Uh, I'm actually not sure where we're gonna go. Basically, we have Martin Audio all over the place, and we're gonna go look at each of the things that is Martin Audio. We have Martin Audio subs. We have Martin Audio MLA Mini. And notice, they are set for Wumbo. They are, these, are, these are MLA Wumbo. The logo is upside down. All right, let's keep going. One, two, three. from Spirit Sound and Light. We have Martin Audio Delay Towers, kind of. These, uh, we recognize, are not ideal for covering all of this. However, they have a tight budget, and uh, even though the stage arrays are quite loud, the MLA Mini, they will certainly not cover all the way out here by themselves, so we're at least supplementing it a bit. to me. That's what I'm doing then. So I think I should give a better rundown of the event. I just kind of was mentally scattered earlier. So we're at Delran Night Out 2019. We did it last year. We did an SL100 last year. We used the CDD15s as mains and Sunbridge subs and uh, PRX or VRX 915 monitors. 
and there was like an eight piece band which Alex mixed from an X32. This year, we changed venues, or they changed venues, and they wanted to lay towers uh, to supplement how large of a space this is. So, this year the CDD-15s are acting as delays about 150, 200 feet from the stage, maybe a little more. So we have the MLA Mini, four per side, covering out to 150 feet. Alex is not mixing this band this year, they have a sound guy. They're just sending Alex a left-right signal, so it's kind of like a DJ input, basically. Their guy's mixing side stage with a touch mix, 30. So we got a DJ, we got a, like a band with like, I don't know, 100 people, 8 people, but it doesn't matter, it's getting two signals, two left, right. And then uh, maybe some people speaking. And yeah, like I said, CDDs are delays. CD15s are delays. So we got CDD Live 12s for some of their monitors, and they have IEMs for their rest. We are using one ETX as a monitor just because, uh, yeah, for an extra wedge, and we brought some spares. But the big thing is the mains this year are four per side MLA Mini and four Martin Audio WSXA. And some people last year surely were thinking, or some of you actually, some of the people who saw our video last year were surely thinking CDD15s as mains are not loud enough. We did have them in limit. And we were seeing about high 90s in front of house and uh, probably low 80s, a couple hundred feet away. And the township was super happy and they had a very small budget, just a couple thousand dollars. And this year they have a more appropriate budget, but we can't give it all to the main PA because I gotta do delays. But this PA is louder. And yet, I'm sure some of you in the comments are gonna say, the PA is still not loud enough for 150 feet. Well, think of it this way. You have to determine, when, when judging how loud a system needs to be, you need to think, you can't just, there's not, there's not a broad answer of, well, how loud does it need to be for an outdoor event? How loud does it need to be for a high school dance? How loud does it need to be for a concert? You need to define those numbers. So in our case, um, the township has been covering the mic. been covering the mic the whole time. Yeah, I think I just moved it. <laughs> okay, anyway, the township, um, we're, we're, it, it, we're not doing, you know, a Led Zeppelin concert out here. It doesn't need to be 100 dB, 200 feet away. Um, we're trying to hit in the 90s, maybe even the upper 80s, 150 feet away. And this PA will certainly do that. Um, does that mean it's loud enough? Uh, well, the client thinks so. So for us, yes, it's loud enough. Should we have more boxes? Yes. Is this a very high quality budget system? Also, yes. So there are limitations. So that's what we're doing. We'll see what other clips we take. But uh, yeah, I'm sure I'm sure the comments will be full of opinions about the PA and everything we are using. But we recognize that it's good for our needs, good for the needs of uh, the client. And yeah, we're just we're just system text today. So we'll see if we take another clip later. I don't think I'm kind of lame. Lemon and Schuster, Hunter's Glen Apartments, and Dunkin' Donuts. something they can dance to. Come on, guys. This is that ice cold Michelle Pye with that white gold. This one with them good girls and hood girls straight masterpieces. Smiling, wilding, living it up in the city. I got Chuck on, we're singing around to kiss myself. So pretty. Too hot, hot man. For a police and a fine man.
take it to Hollywood. Well, if you wanna be just you, I think that you really should.